Hello and welcome everyone. Today I'm playing the 8th chapter of F123. Right now the Connorsport team is in the Grand Prix of Melbourne. Yeah, so let's dive in. And oh, again I'm playing with Devon Butler. And yeah, no dick pics here. Oh, hello, hello. I have to be honest, I think this whole social media thing here is a total waste of resources. I don't know if there is anybody out there who says, yeah, this is a, a good game mechanic or a benefit for the game. I don't know. Also, yeah, okay, the email, I get it, kind of, but I don't know. Well, so, then let's go to the race. Here comes Butler, good pace here down the straight. Into the corner we go. That's a little too late, and he nearly goes off the track on the exit. Ant, is that a lapse in concentration? I think just a little bit of desperate driving there, Croft. He's pushing way too hard. I mean, there's nobody else around him at this stage. OK, Devon, we're going to have to ease off from the brakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brakes don't feel right. OK, we'll have a look at it, but you're going to see a drop-off in performance, I'm afraid. What? Why? We've asked you to take it easy on the last lap, but pushing has made the issue even worse. So we're just going to have to live with it for now. What are you talking about? Listen, just do what you can, please, Devon. Come on. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of spare energy. Okay to use your overtake button. I don't know if Devon is going deaf or if he's having some kind of anxiety attacks. Ooh. Oh, 
Ähm, wie ist sie noch? Okay, that's us with five laps of fuel remaining. Five laps of fuel left. And I will snack you both. Ah, come on. You too. And now for maximum power. And yes. Hapsi dapsi do. One little mistake. Ah, the flow is gone. Okay, come on now. Okay, gaps of the car ahead is 4.8 seconds. Oh yeah, the flow is completely gone. Yeah, I will not survive if I keep driving like this. Okay. I can race one or two places. Uh, too fast here. And again, I'm losing control of the car. Absolutely. <laughs> uh. And right now, I even forgot was what the objective. 
of this race was Boris. Today it's not my day. Our gap to the car in front is 3.1 seconds. And that's it. A very, very... All right, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. Cool. Look, this isn't the first time we've seen... A very poor driving road, from But the myself. question is, what are Connor Sport going to do about it? Well, it's really hard. As we've seen so many times before, Crofty, in the past, so hard to control your drivers. In a way, they're their own entity, but on the top of it, they're, they're working for the team, and that's what you want. Very hard situation to manage. And working for the team, Kasper Ackerman wanted to make a clean break for this year. This does feel, though, that it's something that they might have had to have dealt with last season. It's really not what they wanted. A repeat of what happened in the past, and you cannot let it go on. Can't continue. They're just damaging the reputation of the team and their own reputation as well. They have to sort it out. I'm sure they'll be having words. So it's all changed here in Australia, and as the teams acclimatised to their new standings, so will we. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently, and it's clear to see that they've put in the work, and they should be so proud of the victory they secured here. Now, Devon, you didn't respond to a team order today. In Hungary last season, you said it was a comms issue, but Connor Sport claimed they didn't know what that issue was. So, are they hiding something? What's really going on here? Look, anything I say is going to be taken out of context. So I'd rather not fuel that kind of speculation. I'll debrief the team and we'll figure out how we can stop it happening again. That's, that's all there is to it. Devon, you finished the race with a compromised car today. What was that like for you? Yeah, it was tough, tough out there. I mean, uh, I love this track. You know, I know I can do well here and it's frustrating to deal with anything that slows me down. You know, I didn't like it, and the team didn't like it. Now, some have been saying that you do get preferential treatment because your father funds the team. What do you say to those allegations? That always strikes me as really odd, like, as if... <laughs> the only reason that I'm fast on the track is because my dad funds the team. You know, how, how is that an explanation? It's ridiculous. So how do you expect Connor Sport to perform this season based on your performance so far? I 
expect us to win the whole thing, Nelly. You know? People talk about Mercedes and Red Bull, but people are in for quite a shock this time around because Connorsport will be top of the constructors by the end of the season. You mark my words, you heard it here first. Boom! <laughs> Appreciate it, thank you. Nobody talks like this. <coughs> okay, Casper, what are we gonna do? <laughs> you nip this in the bud, Cass. Do you hear me? <laughs> Andreo. Butler, what was that out there today? I will not have a return to last season. We are a team. He cannot be allowed to do just what he wants. Look, just calm down. I have it under control. Well, this is Devon we're talking about. There is no control. He nearly lost the car, Casper. But he didn't. You know what it gets like out there. I'm sure there's an explanation. Or an excuse. And we'll find out. I'll be raising it at the debrief, okay? So I'll report back to you. Uh, okay, um... Hang on, look, I've got to go. I've got David off on the other line. <laughs> of course you have. Enjoy. Okay. <laughs> Blah, 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 social media, email, yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's a, well, it's a big deal when one of your drivers decides to do their own thing. So I called him out on it at the next team meeting. And what was Devon's reaction? Well, he denied the whole thing. You know, blamed it on a comms fail. Which... I thought it was strange. The same thing happened the year before when I was principal, and he gave the exact same excuse. <laughs> yeah. You wanted to see me? Ah, there he is. You're a difficult man to pin down. Right, I'll cut uh, right to the chase, Devon. Tell me what's happening. What are you talking about? Well, it's not just disregarding team orders. Paddock talks. People are saying you've been distracted, that you're ignoring them completely. <laughs> now, my job is to make sure the team works smoothly, like clockwork, so... Just trying to work out what's going on. I told you, check the comms. Yeah, the comms are fine, Devon. We checked. What's going on? Nothing. Just cut that out. Show me some respect now. Mm hmm Okay. I heard the order. All right? You happy? Why ignore it? I'm feeling it, Cass. The pressure. Paddock gossip these last couple of months. Oh, come on. You're Devon Butler. You are the Paddock gossip. <laughs> You've heard what they're saying, right? You've seen what they're writing. Driving on daddy's money. It's, uh... It's making me second-guess myself. Yeah, then start your own team. Okay. We can work through that. Start changing the... the team narrative. Absolutely. In the meantime, I'd like you to see someone from the medical team. Just to be sure. I've booked you in for this afternoon. No, 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 Cass, Cass. Look, I I've got a race to prep for, okay? I need my head in the game. I'm fine. I get that. That's fine. But I want you to see them straight after the race. Understood? 
Yeah. Fine. Yeah, he's losing it. He is losing it and I can't blame him. It's a tough world out there. So let's go to the next race. Feeling the pressure mom. Devon hopes a strong performance will divide the team's attention from any concern about his health. Yeah. Just leave me to it, yeah? Such a good feeling here. Nice move, good job. Okay, you've taken P11. You're now P11. Thank you, Alfred. Okay, gap ahead is 5.4 seconds. And a very stupid mistake here.
not very good driving here. Stay on form. Oh, no. Ooh. Again, 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 again. I lost nine seconds here. the curb what a mess Devon Butler with that move is out of the race he won't want to see that too many times we want to see him out of the car though that's good news big relief there although he does still look a bit unsteady on his feet Crofty well thumbs up to the crowd but I'd imagine after that he'll be quite shaken hmm. It was his hearing. He'd been keeping it from us. I think maybe he'd been trying to keep it from himself. I mean, he was at the height of his career. Yeah, what can you say? How did you feel? I, I was devastated. But, uh, five years in F1. Can't argue with that. I mean, most people never even get the chance, so. And I was still one of the best while I was out there. You ask anyone. How did you feel when Devon left? Really? How did I feel? But if we are going to hit our targets, we need another driver, a permanent one, and fast. But we are mid-season. It's impossible. So, given the circumstances, do you think you can grant us a bit of leeway on the contract? I have the projections. If Connorsport doesn't reach fifth place in the constructors this season, 
The returns simply aren't worth my time. That was always the deal. And it still is. But with a little extra time, perhaps we... Stop! The deal stands. And without Devon driving, there's now little of interest for me beyond the contract. It's just business. There must be something we can do. So, legacy is obviously important to you, David. As a father, mm -hmm. I, I totally get that that so if Devon your son can't drive how about your daughter why don't we give the seat to Kelly no California will not be signed to Connorsport why not it was just obvious <laughs> just think of the commercial opportunities for the team that signs her hmm? Forget legacy. <laughs> We'd be... You'd be making history. And you'd be giving a phenomenal talent her first break into F1. It's the right thing to do. You know she deserves it. The daughter... who took her mother's name to spite me. Nah, she'll never say yes. Sure, burn out another sibling. Why don't you leave that to me? <laughs> Contract still stands, Ackerman. Fifth place, or I'm out next season. One problem at a time, eh? Yes, we've spoken. And what did you say? She'll be around this weekend. She agreed to come and see me. You mean you haven't asked her yet? Of course not. It's a delicate situation. Uh, I'm sure she has an idea, but... Uh, look, it's not just something you casually ask over the phone, is it? Why not? Come on. This is potentially life-changing for her. And the whole family situation needs to be handled with a little you know, care and respect. Well, well, you're the one that knows her. Just make sure she says yes and fast. I'm finding it difficult to keep fielding questions about the future of Connorsport. Yeah, I read part of that interview. Could almost feel you squirm. That bad, huh? Worse. Look, I'll call you as soon as I know. Adios. Welcome along, everyone, to sunny Spain, specifically to the circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia. So many great moments in Formula One history have been written at this very track over the years, including Michael Schumacher's first win for Ferrari back in 96. That win was in the rain. We might have better weather here today, but we're just as overjoyed to be at the Spanish Grand Prix. It's an updated track at Catalonia, and the popular opinion in the paddock is that we never wanted the chicane in the first place. That's now been gone, the final corner is much faster, and at 2.9 miles and 14 turns, we await the Spanish Grand Prix. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. A fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday, and it's put him on pole, edging out Sergio Perez, who lines up P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Verstappen, Russell, Norris, Hamilton, Gasly, Sainz, Oscar Piastri, Fernando Alonso, Sonoda, Joe, Sargent, Bottas, Jackson, Magnussen, Ocon, Hulkenberg, De Vries, Stroll, Albon, and Noah Bell. And now it's time to head down to the track.
Welcome to the wonderful Catalonia. Ooh. It's time for the Spanish Grand Prix this weekend. And whilst the season is just a few races old, it's already been one full of drama. So, Natalie Pinkham, who have you got your eye on this weekend? Well, in Formula One, naturally, the conversation is drawn towards those at the top of the standings, both drivers and teams. But I'm really intrigued by the midfield team of Connor Sport. Devon Butler's absence will definitely be felt. There's no doubt about that, both on and off the track. For me, the interesting thing will be how they move forward without him. Indeed, almost as many battles off the track as there are on it for Connor Sport at the moment. And Kasper Ackerman and his team certainly have their work cut out for them this weekend. I know it's been a mad few weeks, mate, but you've always gone well here, so let's get your head down and see what we can do. Come on. Ah, just a start the race. Four. Let's have a look. Ah. I don't want to bother with the race strategies. Just start the race. Okay, you've got a drive-through penalty. You've been given a drive-through penalty. What? Ay, ay, ay. This is not good. You need to give that place back, I'm afraid. That was an illegal overtake. <laughs> I don't know why I have to... Maybe it was a false start or something, I don't know. Okay, now we're talking. Let's use overtake and burn off some of this energy. <laughs>
there are the boys. Snack time. Sorry. Okay, listen, don't worry about it, mate. It can happen to the best of us. Now look, I've put a new strategy option for you in the MFD, so go and have a look. Huh? in front is 2.7 seconds. Not for long. We're approaching the pit window and you're going to be on medium.
Come on. Okay, I'm on P1 now. Okay. My concentration is gone. Oh yeah, yeah. I have to be careful because otherwise I will lose my P1. Oh, okay. It's time to... Gap to your teammate behind is 31.7 seconds. I thought my teammate has burned out. Bam.
for us. Okay, let's go now. Come on. That stop wasn't great. We've lost some time there. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. Noah's in the pits. Noah is in the pits now. Okay, the gap behind is 11.6 seconds. Very nice, very nice. So I have time for a smoke break. This is a fast lap now. Okay, that's last with five laps of fuel remaining. Five laps of fuel left.
right, we've got enough fuel for three more laps. Oh, very hard mistake. Twenty-two in front of me. Maybe I can snack him before the race ends. Come on, let this work. Let this work. <laughs> so it's Aiden Jackson propping up Connor Sport here today, but the big news off the track is the speculation about this team and whether or not they'll see out the season with their current lineup. Well, I think they'll have to sign a new driver, Crofty. It's a gamble worth taking. Well, a mid-season signing would get us all talking, I'm sure, but time will tell. Well, I'm thoroughly exhausted after the excitement of that race, but I'm sure it's nothing compared to our drivers here. They've worked hard to make it up there, and it's great to see them make their way onto the podium now. Well, Cotter Sport are in a bit of an odd situation right now. So, just tell me, what is it like for you today? Uh, yeah. Well, you know, that side of things, that's not really my job. I, I wish Devon well, but uh, it doesn't really matter to me who the other driver is. So, I'm out there to drive the car as best as I can. And that's all there is to it. Everything else is for Casper and the team to worry about. Most importantly, how is Devon? And how are you finding it without your teammate? Um, yeah, I know as much as everybody else, so, you know, I saw what happened, I'm obviously very worried for him, and as is everybody else, and, you know, I know he's not fit to drive for us right now, as far as I know, he's working super hard to return to the sport, and, um, yeah, I wish him well. Well, there's a lot of talk about what happens if Devon doesn't return. Would Connor Sport be looking for a new driver, do you think? It's not for me to say, but I think it could be a real opportunity for the team to make an exciting signing. Uh, there's a lot of talent out there hungry for a shot in F1, and Connor Sport could find themselves in a perfect position to offer them one. Well, thank you for chatting with us. Great to have your time. Okay.
Are you Aiden? Hey, to speak to me? Yes, I did. Shoot. Uh, nothing major, really. Um, to be honest, I just wanted to thank you. Oh. What for? I'm, you know, just doing my job. No, it's more than that. Uh, well, I know why you stayed on the team. And, uh, well, I won't lie to you, it, it's not been easy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can say that again. Yeah, but you really stepped up. It's good for me to know that I've got someone like you to rely on. Always. Yeah. Look, Aiden, I'll warn you, things may not get any easier, at least not for a while, but, um... Well, we've got something in the pipeline, a potential new driver and a damn good one. Who is it? <laughs> I can't say, not, not yet. It's a bit of a gamble, but if they agree, we could have something special. It is Kelly May. Nice. And, um, how is Devon? Fine. I think... Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, Davidoff has closed the door on that one, but... Yeah, he tells me Devon is in a good place, though. Oh, that's good, that's good. Just you know, keep doing what you're doing, okay? And now, just get out of here. Of course. I'll catch you later, Casper. Alrighty. So... Hey, boss, got a couple of minutes? Why are you hesitating? You've always dreamt of racing in F1. Not like this. Do you know what he did? Oh, your father? He refused to support me. Said he'd only fund one of his children. Said Devon had better prospects. I'm sorry. I didn't know that. Mum used the divorce settlement to help me out, but... And you're only here because he sent you. No. This was my idea, my decision. And this is me asking you, Callie, not your father. We need a replacement and I ask for you because I know how good you are. And that's the truth. I always said I'd do it on my terms, not his. I'll look out for you, just like I did in F2. Will you keep him away from me? I'll do everything in my power, everything, to make sure that all you have to think about is driving. Have we got a deal? You might never get this opportunity again. You know that. Alrighty, so my concentration is basically gone and I will continue chapter chapter 11 on the next video. So thanks for watching and goodbye.